What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox on Windows 10. But before we're going to do that, we have to make sure virtualization is enabled. So to boot into the BIOS, what we need to do, we need to shut down our system, right? Click on a start and click on shut down. Once your computer shut down, we need to power back up and we need to pr keep pressing on F2. Some systems that could be F1 or escape button. And mine is just F2. And once we're put into the BIOS, most likely your system is going to look something else, but you'll have to look for something like virtualization support. Expand that. Make sure virtualization is enabled right here, check mark. And then VT for direct IO is enabled as well. And if it's not, enable it and then apply. And then you can exit and restart your computer. Once we've verified or enabled virtualization, we need to download VirtualBox and Kali Linux. So first thing we need to do, we need to open the internet browser and we need to go to virtualbox.org website. And I will put all links in the description below. And then we need to download VirtualBox 6.1. And since I'm going to be using on Windows, I'm just going to click on Windows. And right here, I'm just going to click on Save. And then we need to either open folder or we can click on File Explorer and go into Downloads and then double click on VirtualBox and then just go through the installation process. Click Next, Next. I'm going to leave everything as default and then Next and I'm going to click Yes and then Install. And then Yes one more time and then Install right here. And then I'm going to click Finish. And before we're going to create virtual machine, we need to go to the official Kali Linux website. And in here, I'm going to download the 64 bit version. So I'm just going to click on the Kali Linux 64. And in here, I'm just going to click on save. And while it's downloading, we're going to go and create virtual machine. So if your virtual box didn't start it, you can probably go back to your desktop and just double click on this icon. In here, what we need to do, we need to click on new. And in here, we just need to name. I'm just going to name it Kali Linux and right here for the Linux type, I'm going to leave Linux and for the version, we need to choose Debian 64 because the Kali Linux is based on Debian and then we need to click on next and in here we need to allocate RAM memory. So by default it's set to allocate one gig and it's recommended as well. What I'm going to do, I'm probably increase that to four gigs and then I'm going to click next. And then in here, I'm going to leave everything as default. I'm going to leave create virtual hard disk now. And then I'm going to click on create. And in here, I'm just going to leave VDI. And then I'm going to click next. And then next one more time. And in here, we need to allocate storage. Recommended as minimum 8 gigs. What I'm going to do, I'm going to increase that to probably 25 or 30. And then I'm going to click on create. And that's it. Virtual machine is created. Now we just have to wait until it's going to download Kali Linux and we're going to have to install Kali Linux on this virtual machine. Once the download is complete, what we need to do, we need to click on our Kali Linux machine and then we need to click on settings. You can actually go through the every category right here. If you click on systems, you can increase uh, RAM memory here, display, storage. So once we click on storage and in here, we can see this is our controller. We need to click on empty. And then in here, we need to click on this little disk. And in here, we need to click on choose a disk file. And we have to navigate to download folder because that's where we downloaded our Kali Linux. And then click on Kali Linux and then click on open. And in here, we just need to click OK. And that's it. Now we just need to click on start. And in here, we need to choose graphical install. And now we just have to go through the installation process. Right here, I'm going to choose English and then continue. United States, continue. And then American English and then continue. And then in here, for the host name, I'm going to leave everything as default, but you can name it something else. Then continue one more time. Then for domain, I'm going to leave it blank and then continue. And in here, we have to create new user. I'm just going to name tech and then I'm going to click on continue. And then account, it's also going to be tech. I'm going to click continue. And right here, we just have to type password. 
make sure to remember this password because you'll have to use this password to log into Kali Linux and then click on continue. And right here, just set up your time zone and then click continue. And in here, just leave use entire disk and then click continue and then click continue one more time. And right here, also continue and then continue one more time. And in here, we have to choose yes and then continue. And then in here, we're just going to leave blank and then we're going to click continue. And right here, once you get to the screen, there is an option. What kind of desktop environment would you like to install? I'm just going to leave everything as default and then I'm going to click on continue. Once you get to this screen right here, just leave yes and then click continue. And then in here, we have to choose the second option and then we need to click on continue. Okay, once the installation is complete, right here, we just need to click on continue. And then once we get to the screen, we need to click on enter. And then at this screen, we need to type our username and password, the one we created earlier. And in here, once you log in, what you can do, you can click on view and you can change it to full screen mode, seamless mode, scale mode, adjust window size and out of resize gets display. And that's it. Now you have Kali installed in a virtual box. And in here, if you click on all the tools and in here, you can see all the tools that comes with Kali pre-installed by default. And once you're done using your Kali, you can click on this power button and then just click on shut down. If you like this video, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.